Hey guys, uh, welcome to your 2022 uh, prediction reading for Taurus. This is going to be in uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at what you can expect, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know uh, in the areas of career, money, love, and personal growth and spiritual growth here. Um, so feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Maybe someone else is going through this, you know. Um, also, uh, keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message does not resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, I'm also going to timestamp the categories in the comment section below and pin it, okay? So we'll start with career and then love and uh, we'll finish it off with uh, personal and spiritual growth here. Um, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with career. We'll pull a moonology card for that. What messages do we have for Taurus regarding their career and money for 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Taurus here. Your commitment is being tested right now. Personal issues reaches a resolution. So this is telling me that you could be in conflict or will be in conflict with somebody here at your workplace. And I feel like maybe this is making you maybe consider, you know, moving on somewhere else and not staying, where, staying put where you are. Uh, because, you know, Taurus individuals are really loyal, you know, when, you know, they stick with something, they stick with something for a very, 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 very long time. So this must be a situation where, you know, things are not um, really going well or will go well with, uh, you know, people that you're dealing with here because, you know, the next card here, we have nothing will come of this situation. So it seems like nothing will, is going to change. So this is up to you now. Personal issues reaches a resolution. Could be dealing with the cancer in and around you. You might have cancer in your chart. Your commitment is being tested. All right, let's pull some uh, tarot now. What messages do we have for uh, Taurus regarding their career and money for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect regarding their career and money? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter signs. Okay, we have Justice and the Three of Swords. So you have a work situation here that's creating a lot of heartache here for you. And it's I, and I feel like it's really conflict with your fellow co-workers or something like that. And I feel like with the Justice card and the Three of Swords here, I feel like you're ready to like maybe move on from this because there's a lack of balance here. Yeah, I really feel like you're ready to release this. You're ready to release this. You're ready to cut this out and get to more um, stable energy here for yourself. Um, perhaps like you you might be walking in eggshells with this individual, five of cups and the seven of wands. You're defensive. You're disappointed here. You're withdrawn. Your heart's not in it. Maybe you're not passionate about this work anymore. Maybe because, um, you know, your workplace has experienced a lot of change here. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're ready for something new. Like, I just feel like you're emotionally not fulfilled and happy. If anything, you just feel like, I feel like your whole body aches. I feel like your whole body aches and you're just not happy. 
Yeah, you're just not happy here. So moving on to love. We're going to pull a romance angel for this one. Okay, what do we have for Taurus here regarding love for uh, 2022? Uh, what can Taurus expect? What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know regarding love here for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun, uh, of fun to shine. Seems like in 2022, you might, might be meeting new people and dating around. If you're dealing with someone already, maybe you need to be a little more fun and playful. Uh, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Maybe we have someone here that's, you know, this could be you or someone else. Like I said, you could, whatever, you could do whatever you want with this reading. Switch the roles if you want. You know, apply this to yourself, someone else. Um, but maybe someone here is in this negative energy feeling like they'll never find love or something like that. And I feel like maybe with playfulness, I feel like someone here may, maybe is not having a good time going through pro this process of finding new love. Uh, what does uh, Taurus need to know about love here for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect uh, regarding love here for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And Jupiter signs. Oh. Interesting. This was on the bottom of... Uh, the deck before for the career portion of this so we have the ace of cups and the hermit i feel like you're retreating from finding love here yeah there's like a bit of a pessimistic energy of a negative energy feeling like you'll never find some i feel someone here thinks the worst or like maybe someone here is like really insecure about finding new love or something like that uh, instead of like, you know, just going with it and accepting it, I feel like someone questions it, whether they did, whether they deserve it or not. So Taurus, this could be you, yeah? Seven of Cups and the um, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You may have those energies in your chart. Or you might have those energies in and around you. So it seems as though... In 2022, I feel like you're going to be dating around. You're going to be meeting new people, but I feel like you shy away if someone here makes you some sort of offer here. I really feel like, Taurus, someone here, I feel like you might not be open. You might, your heart space not, might not be op open for love right now. Uh, because maybe with playfulness, you know, maybe you're, um, you know, you know, the playfulness could be a mask, you know, a mask to um, cover up your pain here, maybe, or your fears. You have the King of Swords and then the Ace of Wands here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you could have those energies in your chart. You could be dealing with those energies in and around you. I really feel like someone's heart space is blocked. It's like someone here really wants it, but once they get it or someone approaches them about it, I feel like, Taurus, you might run from this. We have the tower here, airy Scorpio energy. I feel like there is new love all around you. I feel like there are going to be multiple opportunities. The thing is, I feel like someone here is going to withdraw from it. I just feel like someone here is not optimistic. You know, it could be a situation like, you know, it could be a situation where, you know what, um, this person I'm seeing is vegan and I'm not or something like that. This is an example. And, you know, uh, this person's not going to like me. You know, little things like that. So, all right, let's.
let's move on to personal and spiritual growth here. All right, what do we have for um, Taurus here regarding their personal and spiritual growth for 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to pull an Oracle card from the Healing Mantra deck. Unraveling codependency. Perhaps you attract codependent people or that you're codependent yourself. Only I, I, only I have to feel good about my choices. Yeah, I mean, the, the decisions that you make for yourself and others that make for themselves, you know, it's really for yourself. Yeah, it doesn't really have to do with the other person. So I feel like this is something that you have to address here, uh, maybe in 2022. Maybe your heart clo maybe your heart space closes out to people because maybe you don't want to depend on someone, you don't want to rely on someone here, or that it's closed off because maybe you uh, could be that person that ex uh, attracts people that are codependent. On the bottom of the deck here, I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe, uncovering confidence. There's a lack of confidence here too. So that's why maybe, you know, there's this energy of not being optimistic here. Um, what do we have here for personal and spiritual growth for uh, Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. needs to uh, heal from their codependency, speak to someone about this. Because this is actually affecting uh, the way that you interact with people here. So it could, it could be a situation where, you know, in your workplace here, you might have authority figure issues. I mean, you might have codependency, codependency, codependency to things or people. Um, work maybe you rely someone here relies on people here instead of really you know doing it themselves or making those decision decisions and choices themselves here it seems like you might be going through awakening regarding your codependency here we have taurus energy and the sun so you might have any of those energies in your chart could be dealing with those energies in and around you. You have the Knight of Swords here and the Queen of Cups. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have any of those energies in your chart. Could be dealing with any of those energies in and around you. We have the Fool here, Aries energy. Also uh, Aquarius and the Nine of Cups here. Could be dealing with any of those energies there. We have the King of Wands again. I don't know why there are two King of Wands in this deck. So there are two King of Wands and two Fool cards. Don't ask me why. It's It just came like that, so I just kept it in there. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like maybe there's this energy of feeling rigid and just not being lighthearted and optimistic and just enjoying, um, you know, enjoying life here. Yeah, there's just a lot of conflict here. I don't know if this conflict is created because of someone's codependency. So I feel like this is a huge theme here of finding happiness and stability for yourself here, Taurus. This is an interesting read. Yeah, you're definitely going through some major awakening and trying to face your codependency here, I feel. I mean, I feel like in 2022, I feel like, you know, I 
I feel like you don't want to be a prisoner of your own codependency here and really wanting to be happy, more playful, more fun, more lighthearted. Yeah, there's a bit of seriousness here, especially with staying optimistic about love life. I mean, this could apply to any area of your, in your life. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.